Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that all of you are having a great day, and thank you for joining me here today for your daily dose of Star Wars. I don't know how difficult it's been for all of you to avoid spoilers for The Last Jedi, but it's been really hard for me being a Star Wars YouTuber, trying to come up with content that will be interesting for you guys to watch and listen to, that involves The Last Jedi, but doesn't involve me having to risk seeing any spoilers. So I thought that since yesterday I did my final predictions on Ray video, that today we will do my final predictions on Kylo Ren and what I think lies ahead for him in this film. I will be seeing the movie tomorrow night at 6pm, so you guys can look for my spoiler free review of the movie tomorrow night and then I'm going to see it again on Friday, so be sure to be on the lookout for the spoiler review to drop then or early Saturday. But with that being said, let's get into it. I remember watching The Force Awakens for the first time. And I remember for that movie, I was trying to stay in the dark as much as I could. I think I only watched the first two trailers, and that was it. And I remember Kylo Ren coming onto the screen and thinking, wow, this is awesome. I was shocked when he took his helmet off, thinking he was supposed to be more like Darth Vader. But then after he took his helmet off, and after watching the rest of the film, I thought that he wasn't like Darth Vader. He was more like the Anakin from the prequel trilogy, specifically in Revenge of the Sith. He was a character who was supposed to be this dark side warrior, supposed to be ruthless, but yet he wasn't. He was this conflicted character the entire time he's donned the name Kylo Ren. And he wasn't quite sure who he was or figured out where he was going, or if he was even supposed to be Kylo Ren. Jumping into the last Jedi portion of things, I think that Kylo Ren will turn to the light side. If not in this movie, then in 9, because as Darth Vader obsessed as he is, at some point it would stand to reason that he would come to the realization that Darth Vader was not weak when he chose to save the one he loved in his son Luke. He wasn't in the wrong to save him and kill the Emperor. He did it because he realized that he had lost his true self. He lost sight of who he really was. And I think that Kylo Ren is going to realize all of those things as well and return to his true identity in Ben Solo and be a force for good. The marketing for The Last Jedi, however, hints at the idea that the lines between good and evil are blurred. And that's backed up by Daisy saying that when she appeared on GMA. She's also called Adam Driver a wonderful scene partner in several interviews. This is where the video for today ties into yesterday's If Rey Isn't a Skywalker video. In that video I gave you all my final predictions on Rey for The Last Jedi, and in that video I said that if we couldn't have Rey be a Skywalker, then I would want Raylo to happen to keep the Skywalker bloodline alive. The Last Jedi marketing is really pushing the choose your path arc, and this is in terms for both Rey and Kylo Ren. They are both trying to figure out who they are and where they belong, and they have this strange connection that we know grows stronger in this film. And I think that Kylo will turn to the light side, and that if Rey isn't a Skywalker, that he and her will become love interests, and that in the next Skywalker trilogy 10 or 15 years down the line, that the bloodline will continue and that they will reprise their roles hopefully as Rey and Ben Solo. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you want more Star Wars Coffee, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at SWCoffeeYouTube. If you're a daily coffee drinker or interested in becoming one, be sure to hit that bell down there to receive notification on your iOS or Android device the second a new video goes live. Thank you guys for watching. As always, keep loving Star Wars, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.